Dragon Claw. Lego is a fantastic source of building fun for the whole family. As many of you know, they can be quite dangerous if stepped on. Almost <laughs> as bad as your dad beating you until you poop your pants. I don't think those two are relatable in any way. I don't know. I've tried both and I think they're pretty much the same level of pain. Wait, hey, hey, you tried both. I'll try anything once, you know. So that sounds weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this of course got me thinking. What if we attach Lego to different items? Can they be turned into practical self-defense tools? And if so, how much damage could they cause to a person? To find out, I created a variety of Lego-based self-defense tools. As the Lego mission statement goes, let's physically beat the builders of today into yesterday. Here's how this experiment's gonna go. We're gonna start with a slingshot. We're gonna see how good Lego is as a projectile. Then we're gonna move to the punching Lego self-defense tools. We got brass knuckles with Legos glued onto it. And then I got a self-defense glove with, you guessed it, Lego glued onto it. Then we're moving to the most lethal thing I believe we have, which are Lego bats. We have a light aluminum bat and then a much heavier wooden bat, which we can change which Lego we have on there. Will the Legos make these items more effective than their base product? I don't know. I think the Lego will probably cut me. You know, a bat doesn't cut you, but a Lego bat probably cut you. Can I keep this helmet? Do you like it? It's hard to breathe, but other than that, it feels cool. I think it makes your hair look better. How so? You just got more hair, it's a full, fuller head. It's a genetic problem. <laughs> <laughs> My <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. <laughs> Don't talk about his hair. Okay, he gets really upset about it. Nice wig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Starting off with projectile Lego, Mark's got the slingshot and he has chosen, chosen a mast right there. It's like a battleship mast. I don't think that's an official Lego piece, but we're gonna count it. Oh, you hurt! That was a solid job. What the hell? Slow mo. Light. Yeah. I got excited. Guess I gotta do it again. We don't film a pain video in three weeks and look at him. I'm excited to be. <laughs> oh! Solid. Oh! That was great. Oh yeah. Oh, I think that might be worse than normal slingshot uh, pellets. It's a lot heavier. I'm gonna cut me a little bit. Look at who said that. I did. Okay. You did. You're a smart man. Thank you. You on the other hand? Don't call me a Lego head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Mark? I got a two by two. Two by two piece. So smaller piece, square should be pretty aerodynamic. I feel like. Let's see what it does. Ah, oh, that stings. Ah, oh, that stings. Why do you keep hitting me on this, this titty over here? I'm a new man, accurate this year. Okay, I thought you were gonna go some weird titty route there. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah uh, you got me right below the other cut. So you, you're hurting me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did uh, agree to that. If you want that bike over there. <sighs> Um, I'll let you start with the headshot. With the helmet on? Or? Yeah, you know, just for s and giggles. Hey, Houston, aim for the neck. Uh, that's, that's, that's neck and head are different. <laughs> Is that, I consider it head and neck up. Go for the Adam's apple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see if it can penetrate the, the helmet at all. I got a two by three. I'm not responsible if this goes through the helmet. You told me to do it. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it, it went through. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <sighs> Caught me right in the cheek. Is there a hole? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A hole. Oh. <laughs> All right, no more head checks. <laughs> yes, uh, Lego is meant for building, okay? You're building the builders of tomorrow, not shooting them. Yeah. So don't do this at home. Be nice. I want one more Lego shot on me with whatever kind of brick 
formation you want, and then we're gonna move on. Deal. Ah, right in the solar plexus. <laughs> ah, right there. That's right in my bone. Oh, yeah. heck yeah. It's like the least amount of muscle and bone. You get deep with that. It didn't get deep, dude. It just hit my bone. Wow. There's a bone right there. Oh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that completes the projectile Lego. Honestly, pretty effective. It can cut you pretty good. I think the worst one was that double stacked block yeah. in terms of pain. Definitely. Uh, had a lot of mass behind it, which added to the pain factor. We're moving on though to punching Lego tools. What do you want to start with, Mark? I'll do this one. Okay. He's probably gonna hurt his hands with the brass knuckle Lego, so I figured he would take the easiest route first. Somehow I feel okay after seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a 50% power punch into the shoulder here, Mark. Ah! Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh. You skinned me. I did. Oh. Honestly, more effective than the gloves themselves. Cause not only did it hurt really bad, he peeled me like a fish. <laughs> that was 50 per I gotta do one more a little bit harder, but I'm not looking forward to it that much. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit curious. A little bit weird. I don't think so. I think it's pretty normal. Well, what is weird, you know? <laughs> she said it. You're weird. Whoa! Get her out of here. What? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go home. Which you is are home. here. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um, give me 75% <laughs> power. Ooh, that was dead on. Oh, the clock. Oh, wow. I hit all the knuckle yeah. with that. All e these knuckles? No, these ones. <laughs> you still Ooh. got me a little. Well, I feel like we have to re do a redo then. Yeah, yeah, I can see from the blood. Yeah. You, you hit these ones a lot. Uh huh. You need to keep that a really tight fist. I know it's hard with the glove, but. I will. Oh, oh. <sighs> okay. I think there's some glue. Is that glue on me? Uh, is that glue? No, or is that no. just my skin? That's just your skin. Well, that hurts. I wouldn't want to catch one of those to the face. Never. That would definitely cut you way easier. Well, they go boxing. That's an idea. That's an idea. Your nose is just. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's more comfy, honestly. <laughs> my nose be rubbing everything. <laughs> All right, uh, Jacob here wanted to take a swing at the punches, but with the brass knuckles. So you can hit my other shoulder, I suppose. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Oh, that's just a racer piece. Is there a racer? Punching erasers? No, there's, there was a racer on the table, okay? Mm. I don't clean up very well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> go. Oh, you oh, punched one off. No. All right, at that rate, we just gotta go full power and see what the, the rest of them. No. Flip it around, limited. So just swing for the fences. You wanna do a straight or a, craw, a hook still? I say go straight with it. Straight. Yeah. Okay. Ah! Yeah, yeah, that cut me. Ah! Why is it cut so well? <laughs> it's like, this sliced me. The Lego effect is slicing people open. I, I don't know why, why don't they round the edges? How many, like, how much architecture have we seen that's rounded? And they are trying to build the, or foster the builders of tomorrow. You have somebody make a wall of circles. To be fair, Houston's mom has built well. She's round? She round. She's round? Yeah. Why? Got him. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, yeah, so. It went more. Wait, look at him. Uh, the little two circles. Oh, do you think you made the impact and then it? I think so. Well, at this point, I think we can say my theory is correct. Gluing Legos to different items kind of gives the item a, like a cutting potential behind it. Fight for the bats. I am as well. Starting with aluminum bat, Mark. Now, let me talk about my thought process on this. I was expecting the Legos to cut. So when I glued these on, I wanted enough space so the corners could 
get into my skin and dig in. Now this is an aluminum bat, so we can swing pretty much to full power on this one. So I'm excited to see what happens. How long did that take? 45 minutes yesterday, then I spent another 10 minutes on it today. My thumb kind of got sore from squeezing glue bottles. Uh, so I don't know what that says about me. We have thumbs. What were what you gonna say? You're a builder of tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> aluminum Lego bat, 50% power. Oh! oh, you can see the little imprints. <laughs> oh, you really can. <laughs> what is, what is? I think that's an old scar. It's goo. Oh. Uh, um, Ew. Um, hey, for me, right? I, I'm not going. For some reason there's blood on it. Is that from that? Well, it's gotta be from me. Yeah, I was like, wait, wait. Yeah, this is right here. All the blood. Does it splatter onto this? We'll have to refer to the slow-mo on that one, but hmm. that stunk really bad and cut me. So I guess we have to see what the 100% power does. It's the only logical next step. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it happening? laughs> but the sound it made was so cool. Oh! <laughs> Juicy. Oh, geez. It looks like it was used for murder. <laughs> it looks like someone committed murder with this. You hit me on that where Jake hit me with the brass knuckles uh -huh. and it sliced me even more. We're just gonna do this number for now. <laughs> okay. Well, as part of the deal, I get to hit you. That is right. You won't see his face very much because we're sticking with the mask bit, but. Sink. <laughs> Mark gets a hit, and Mark, you're gonna make a deal here. Okay. You can't react. <laughs> and everyone has to like the video. Uh, I guess, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to do it on the last hit, but I forgot. <laughs> Perfect. Is my cheek okay? And you got, red. you got blood. Oh my God, he's bleeding from that, <laughs> that slingshot. He's <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's a scab now. <laughs> that was your idea. That so, was. following with your ideas, Mark, uh, how hard should I hit you? 50? 60? You got pants on. 60. All right, keep it down back then. 80? All right, get her out of here. <laughs> 69% power, you're right. We don't need slow-mo for this because you got pants on. Anywhere from 50 to 69% power is. <laughs> All right. That was harder than 50 at least. That was probably close. Good Lord, you <laughs> You didn't react though, you remember oh. it. It's so hard I knocked a Lego piece off. <laughs> it stings really bad, doesn't it? Uh, I'm curious uh, to see what that looks like. It's, it's gonna be a bruise, a big one. All right, all right. I'm curious what 100% power I could do with this thing. I break my leg. You got blood. Well, I didn't intentionally do that. It's just there's a lot of blood on it. That's your fault, if anything. There was a side without blood. Yeah, and I hit it late. Yeah, you did. You got that part. Yeah, that's right, that part. <sighs> wow, that wakes you up. <laughs> <laughs> it stings really bad, was, doesn't it? I was a little tired, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Explain the pain. Um, what do you attribute to it? It's like I got hit by a 30-pound car moving at about five miles per hour. <laughs> that, that just made me more confused. <laughs> not a good expression. Like <laughs> I can't think straight, it really hurts. We'll get an inspection on that later. We're moving on to the final bat. So this bat, uh, I was very smart and I found all these Lego pieces that we can change the formation. So we'll build what we think is acceptable and we'll get back to you. This isn't where I saw the, this video going, to be honest, but uh, the team built this beautiful work of art 
uh, I don't know how this is logistically going to work, but uh, Mark, I guess pick a side you want to hit me with. Mm, let's see, with 30%. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you choosing? Okay, I want it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want it. You just you just pick a side. Oh, I'll go right. Here. Okay. We got two hits here. Thirty percent power first. Heavier bat. There's more weight, more mass, more energy transfer. <sighs> <laughs> here yeah it's like we got like multiple inches difference i do have a lot of scar tissue right there from the racers you need to get some new legs there's some lego legs get a <laughs> get a skin transplant from your to your legs i know a guy who knows a guy you want me to call him up i think that's a yes call him up. wasn't a no y'all no, you. Well, Mark, uh, we got one more hit here. That's uh, kind of maybe on like 50, 60% power or something like that. Yeah. Yes, sir. No. Ah! No! Oh, no! Ah! ah! Paying over that? Oh, thank God. Okay. Um... Ah, my leg! <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, you are now the Lego master. Wow, that doesn't look good. Yeah, those were brutal. How's my bat look? Um, all the. Oh, that one survived. That was, I think, okay. the only thing that really survived. <sighs> Time to review. <laughs> Starting with Mark. I'm glad I wore pants. So it kind of cut them through the pants. That's pretty interesting. But another piece of data, when I shot them in the Lego helmet, cut them a little bit there as well. Very interesting. You can pull your, yeah, you can. Cool. Uh, on to me. Got punched in the shoulder. Very effective. Like, wow. Peeled me, skinned me, hurt a lot. Looking over here, Jake cut me right there, that, that initial cut that I'm pointing at. Mm. The rest of it was from the bat. Some solid initial bruising, some cuts here and there. We got a full Lego brick. I like that. I don't know why I like it, but I like the idea of being a, a Lego brick is on me. Does that make sense? Is it, is it... You're really bleeding. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh... Buster it. <laughs> you gotta buy some more salt. I'm sorry. It was a Himalayan. Just the loss of my salt, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding. I go to cook and I'm out of salt. Okay, because he's pouring it on me. God. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, we're gonna check back in a couple days. Give you my final thoughts on the Lego self-defense tools. I'll uh, buy some more. You won't. I won't. <laughs> it's time for the Lego self-defense tools data review. Three days after the experiment, I had slight scabbing on my chest from the slingshot. My shoulder had a decent amount of bruising and scabs from the Lego glove. And lastly, both my legs were significantly bruised and scabbed from the Lego bats. But what did we learn? Well, I think it's safe to say that Lego is capable of enhancing most blunt self-defense tools by giving them the cutting potential they otherwise lacked, with surprisingly no noticeable decrease in blunt impact. Now, what you do with this information is up to you, but I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon by clicking the link in the description to see deleted scenes from my videos. Thanks for watching and always remember, Lego is a toy, unless you attach them to a blunt self-defense tool. In that case, it's, it's just a weapon. They're, they're just weapons at that point. Pretty effective ones too.